All right, gang, welcome to Erlingrat. It is time for us to move on to this map, and we have certainly done so. Uh, so right now, I've got a nice semi here that we're uh, utilizing. We're going to come up to our uh, our plot of land here. We've got 1.3, well, 1.03 million dollars in the bank. Uh, so we've spent a lot of money, uh, but I think it's going to be worth it. I think it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be good. So. Uh, we've got a decent amount of land. I wouldn't say it's as much as maybe where we left off in the last episode, but it's close. Well, I mean, the last map, I should say, not episode. It is the last episode, too, I guess, both ways. Uh, but it's close. Uh, regardless, though, it it, it, uh, it is not going to be easy land to farm. Uh, so Erlingrat, the, the thing about Erlingrat here is it's, uh, it's very hilly, as you can see. And uh, I'm all over the road, but it's very, very hilly. Uh, so it is a very difficult... Um, map to farm. That's how I'm going to put it. Uh, there are some standard um, fields down at the very bottom of this hill that you could farm pretty easily, but uh, we don't own any of those at current, so uh, we, we've got to work our way down that way so we can get some of those. At current, the land we own was basically used almost entirely for grass. But we are going to try to actually farm it. We're going to try to put crops in the land. In the, in the, in the, in the land. We're going to try to put crops in the ground. Now, we're coming up to the area that we own right now. It's a pretty nice area. We've got a nice, decent, nice-sized yard here. I guess we should turn the light on here. It's a little dark because of the mountains. But this is our yard, so I love this map because of the mountains. You guys know that I love mountains, and this is uh, surrounded by mountains here. Uh, now, let's kind of talk through what we own here. We do own quite a lot. Uh, I love this view. This view is awesome. Uh, so we're not that far from the town, but you can see we do have to go through that really curvy road. So ideally, uh, we'd like to find a better way to get down there. But uh, long story short here, we do own a, a silo where we can buy uh, things that we need for our equipment here. We have a nice little house, not a very big house, it's a, it's a tiny little house, but it is a house nonetheless. A quite a large silo, um, really large indeed actually. We also have a windmill, which provides us with a set of money every single month, I think it's like $70,000, it's a decent amount. Uh, we've got a cultivator, which allows us to create fields. We've got a nice shed here with three garage doors, and inside that shed has a number of pieces of equipment. Specifically, we've got a drill, it's the uh, horse Avatar 12.25. We've tried to utilize this in the 200 horsepower challenge and it just was not working. So we're going to utilize it here. Uh, we've got the Stara Hercules 6.0 sprayer. And we have a very nice John Deere 7R 350. So it's pretty nice. Uh, nice shed in here too. Got some nice lights in it. I like it a lot. A little bit of room in there. Not a ton of room, but a little bit of room in there. And we also have this open... Well, it's not open air, but it's an open end... Uh, shed as well where we can put a bunch of stuff in whether it's crops or whatever Well, we have a silo for most of the crops But if we want like root crops we can stick some root crops in here or whatever and we have a huge Harvester Now I don't think the header on this harvester is as big as the one we utilized last time It's close, but I don't think it's as big But the harvester itself has more power and is a bigger harvester. It's the nice Fent Ideal 9 PL So that is what we start with uh, Everything else we're going to have to buy on our own, but we do have a lot of money. We've got over a million dollars, as you can see. Now, as far as the land goes, let's, let's give you a little lay of the land here, what we own. So, we own all of this field 11 here, and all of this field... I don't even know what you would call that. I guess it's kind of field 12, but not really. Um, because 12 is kind of in the middle, but anyway. So, we own all of this. It's all grass field, and there's some trees and some rocks in the way. Uh, so, let's do a little bird's eye view best I can kind of do for you so uh, basically the one the one area we own here kind of follows this road right so we've got this area where our little yard is all of this grass field down to here cuts over this way and it comes down here all of this all the way up here where all these trees are all the way down to here cuts over this way here's some of the other land we could potentially buy plots we could buy that are flatter all the way over to here so we own all of that all of this, and then if we start right across the road from where our yard is, we own this whole section here, which is relatively flat, so it's probably where we'll start our first crop field, honestly, is up here. Um, so we, at least we have something flat we can get in the ground pretty quickly. 
all the way up. Keeps coming all the way up this hill, up to this section of trees up here. And then it goes down this way. So there's a very small little tiny window here. We probably won't be able to put a field through here, but we can kind of, you know, make a big field this way, going this way. And then just have this be maybe a road or something that we, a, a track or something that we put in to go down here. And we own all of this. So it's actually a lot of land. It's just, unfortunately, there's really, it's not the best land for, for farming because it's so hilly. Um, but we're going to try to make do with it. We're going to try to make do, so we own all this back into here as well. So basically, everything wrapping around that, this this road that we drove up, we pretty much own everything that kind of wraps around it. So, um, there's a lot of land here. There's a lot of land here. There's a lot of potential here, but it's not going to be easy. It's really not. It's going to be very difficult to farm this land. So, uh, I think first things first, gang, let's get this uh, semi out of the way, first of all. I don't know where I'm really going to put this yet. I guess we'll just kind of back it up. But how's everybody doing today? Hopefully you're all doing well. I'm 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 I'm, I'm getting better. I'm definitely on the mend at this point, I would say. I'm just going to kind of park it right here next to our house in between the the windmill and the house. Turn the lights off. Let's get into the John Deere here because we need it. Well, the nice thing about this cultivator is it is a large cultivator, so it will it will be able to uh, do a, a bigger job a, a lot faster. Uh, than, than what we're used to, I guess, is what I should say. Now, um, as far as all this grass field, we could just mow it and turn it into, you know, silage, things like that. For the most part, we might do it in some areas, but for the most part, we're not going to do that. We're going to go straight for trying to make some, some crop fields here. Uh, I want to make, I want to make crop fields, and that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. So look at this thing. This thing is sweet. This is the, by far the biggest cultivator we've ever used. This thing is just chewing through this, no problem at all. This is great. Alright, don't get too close to the road there, Z. Come on, buddy. So it's a bit hilly, right? You can see that it's it's may this is might not be the best uh the best area to be putting a, a, a an actual field into, but this is what we have to work with for now, so we're gonna have to try to do it. That land up there looks pretty flat. That looks pretty nice. We could potentially try to buy that one. You can kind of see it from here, across the other side of the road here. But I think as long as we get a relatively decent layout here, we can look at it. And if, you know, something looks too hilly, we can either try to do some uh, maneuvering uh, with utilizing some of the land features, right? So we can try to flatten it out or smooth it out, whatever. Or we just don't drill anything in that, right? We just repaint it with grass or something else and, and we just let it be. But ideally, we really want to make this, you know, these fields as big as we can make them. I actually think I'm going to go ahead and, and cut this off. We're going to make it two fields now that I'm seeing the size of this. Now I'm seeing really how big this field is itself. I think if we put a line down the middle here and then do another one going that way, that way is going to be much, much more hilly. I think we uh, we go that path. That way we can put a couple of things in the ground. If that makes any sense. This is a great tractor, though. It's got uh, pretty much 400 horsepower, I think. It's by far the biggest tractor we've ever utilized on this channel. I'm realign this. I kind of was going at that angle a little bit too sharp there. We we're going to get into the road there. I don't want to do that.
But yeah, this is uh, by far my favorite map out of the box, the standard, the first three that came with the game. Um, I know it's not everybody's favorite. I know a lot of people probably don't even like this map, but I, for whatever reason, really do. And I think it's just the, the, the location, right, with the mountains in the background. I just really like that. All right, there's our basic layout here. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of touching up here because I did see that that one was a little bit too much, I think. Um, this hill right here, I think that's a little bit too much. Something like that I think would be a little bit better. It's still on a hill, pretty severe hill. It might still have issues, the harvester, but we'll give it a shot. we go. Good enough. We'll call that good for me. For now. At least. Let's go around the headland here a second time. But you can see that's a, that's a pretty decent sized field right off the bat there, gang. I mean, that's... That's not, that's nothing to slouch about. Now we need to get a second tractor. Um, I, I don't know what tractor I want to buy yet. We got 1.3 million. Like I said, that's plenty of money for now. Uh, it won't be eventually, but it is plenty of money for now. Um, well, I say won't be eventually. It might be. But we do still have plenty of money. view. That view is phenomenal from up here. And I like those train bridges up there. Awesome. Awesome. So again, we're probably going to be sticking on the same path of uh, about 15, 16-ish episodes for this series. Uh, before we jump to the next uh, campaign map, which is one of the uh, DLC maps that uh, came with uh, one of the DLCs that came out. There's a couple of them. Still, we have to get through. So, uh, we're going to try to stick on that 16 to 20 max, 15 to 20 uh, episode uh, series here. And just continue to carry on. This one's going to be a, a lot more of a challenge, I think, because we have to... Uh, do a lot of creating our own fields, and then these hills are going to be not the easiest thing to work. Um, it, it's going to take us some time to, to work these hills. The tractors are definitely going to be slower, getting up the hills and everything else, right? So it will take longer, I think, to do the drilling and the harvesting than it ever has uh, on the channel. Even with bigger equipment, it's going to be more difficult just because of those hills. So I'll tell you what, gang, we'll go ahead and throw a time lapse in here. We're going to get this field completely done, and then I'm probably going to work on uh, that field up there as well. We'll probably get both of these uh, kind of drilled out so we actually have an idea of what uh, what we're working with here. And, uh, and then we'll probably look at getting a um, second tractor, maybe. We'll see. Uh, but we got to get these drilled out, and then and really we need to get something in them. I want to get them growing as quickly as possible, honestly. Uh, we'll probably put sorghum in one, and we'll probably put soybeans in the other. That's my guess. Uh, reason for that is it's October, right? So I've spent a few months just taking time off and between the last episode and, and on Beilu and this one. 
And, uh... I want to get some stuff in the ground, and, and sorghum is ready pretty quickly. Um, so the price shouldn't be awful when it's time to harvest it, but we might have to store it in the silo. We'll have to see, but uh, either way, it shouldn't be too bad. So I'd like to get that in. And then soybeans will be ready, obviously, in the summer, so it's good to get those in now. We can store those until it's the best time to sell those. So let's get this done here, gang, and uh, we'll see where we're at. We'll see uh, what our fields end up looking like when we're done. All right, that was a really long time lapse, gang, but we got, uh, look at the size of these fields, man. We got two big, massive fields done, so, um, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. This is a good start. And we really haven't even scratched the surface with our land, right? So if we go back to the map here really quick, it's going to be a quick save, because we haven't saved it a bit. 
But we've got these two big fields, but we have all of this land we haven't touched, and then this whole section down here we have yet to touch. So, um, yeah, we're, we're going to be able to have some decent-sized fields here. So let's go take this back. Um, she make sure I have unlimited fields on. I don't want it to uh, create a field in our yard. Okay, come on now, Walter. Come on, buddy. You were already past me. What are you stopping for? <sighs> These morons. Alright, so let's just put this back away over here by these trees where we had it, where we were storing it. This can stay outside. It doesn't need to be inside, and it really doesn't fit in anything except for our big open air. Well, open side, open front, however you want to say it. Shed there, and I don't want to put it in there. Alright. So we need to get the drill. We need to open up the other garage door here so we can get to it. That one should be do nicely for us. All right. We need to get this thing filled up. If I remember correctly, we had issues with trying to fill this thing up on the Tuner Horsepower Challenge, so we're going to see how this goes here. Trying to fill the cedar up, at least. Fertilizer we didn't have any issues with, but... Well, it tells me to start filling here, but it's not filling anything. So we do have issues with it, unfortunately. Well, what's going on with this thing? There it is. It's at the very front. I gotta remember that. It's at the very front. Alright. So, we said we want to put sorghum and we want to put soybeans in. Um, which one do we want to put which? I guess I'm impartial. Which one, which one looks bigger on the map? Uh, I would say this one's definitely bigger, right? So, let's put soybeans in the bigger one. And we'll put uh, sorghum in the other one. That's how I think, at least. Right or wrong, that's how I think. Uh, I want to touch that up a little bit. I don't really like the way that looks. Doesn't need to be perfect, just try to round that out a little bit better. That's better. Alright, let's unfold this thing. Let's get this thing going here. Um, I don't really want to put a another time lapse in here because we just did a very long time lapse, but I mean, early on we may have to here. I'll see if I can think of some other things to talk to you about. Uh, but early on we may have to do another time lapse here. Just because uh, we're early on in the, in the series here and we don't really have a whole lot else going on, so we can't just, you know, go do something else. We got to get these things drilled. That's really the the key here. So, one other thing I did note, uh, or I do need to note, I guess, for you, that I did not tell you about yet, is that I have turned off uh, the requirement for needing uh, rolling, I believe. On um, Well, I don't think you could turn off the requirement for rolling, but um, I turned off the requirement for uh, periodic plowing. And I don't think we're going to roll on this one anymore. You guys know I hate rolling. We do rolling enough already as it is in the other series, so I think I'm just going to ignore the rolling altogether. Which should, in theory, help us be able to speed things up as well uh, by not even worrying about rolling. Now, a lot of the times, I, I obviously, I would just have a worker do the rolling for us, but... If I don't have to do the rolling, or if we don't have to spend the money on the rolling, we don't have to worry about the time it takes to get the rolling done... Um, we are not even drilling there. Oh boy. That's because of the hill. We may not even be able to harvest this. Uh oh. I might have made it too close on that hill. 
where the road is, it, it severely, you know, slopes up, which is part of the problem here, right? Yeah, they're, they're, I don't think this is going to work. Unless we spend some hard-earned cash here trying to flatten this out. Let me see if I can flatten it out at all, if it'll work. I bet it won't, but... So that's a lot of flattening that's gonna have to happen. And it's too severe, I think, to, to really make a difference there, so I don't think this is going to work. Let me see if I can keep it as close as I can here and see if I can get it to to drill that. Okay, well it is drilling it, it's just not... Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, change that. I don't think there's any way that this is going to work for the harvester. We'll give it one shot, we'll do it this time, and see how it goes, and then we'll make our decision, I guess, after that, but... It's just that little section there. I kind of got smart the rest of the way. It's not as severe the rest of the way around here. So. Yeah, it looks like the rest of the way I did okay. Though. The rest of the way I didn't really get up high on those hills or that edge there. Seems to be uh, that we're drilling perfectly fine the rest of the way here. All right, good, good, okay. Oh, oh, spoke too soon. There's a little section here, it looks like, that's uh, gonna cause some mayhem for us. Yep, it's not going to work there either. Hmm. Dang. Well, I'll have to touch all that up a little bit off camera, I guess. Um, we may lose a little bit of that field and a little bit of the crop, obviously, but... Um, yeah, that's not going to work, so we're going to have to fix that. That's too bad. Dang. Well, anyway, uh, we're going to get the rest of this field done here. Um, I think what we're going to end up doing with some of our money here is I'm going to get around here, the headland, like another second time here. And I'm going to throw it on a worker. When we do that, I'm going to do a little research um, as far as what tractor, next tractor I want to get. Potentially even another drill, right? Just have a second drill. Probably good for us to have a second drill. Because we're going to probably need it when we get all these fields going here. Eventually, we're going to probably have um, the need to be able to drill two fields at the same time. So we could have a worker doing one and ourselves doing another. So it probably would be smart for us to look into another one. Now, I don't know if we'll get this exact same drill. It might be a smaller drill. Slightly smaller. But we can at least look. We can take a peek out there. Because this is a really nice drill. It's 12 meter width. It's huge. Um, absolutely huge. So this definitely is going to... Uh, help us, but if we can get another one that's, I don't know, 8 to 9 maybe meters in width, just slightly smaller, that might be that might be worth it. That might be worth our time to, to take a little look and research on it. Now, as far as the other tractor goes, I don't know what I'm going to get. It won't be another John Deere, I think. I like to try to change it up. You guys know that. Um... I do love my John Deere's, and that's why we're starting with one here, but, um, it may be another tractor this time. I don't think it'll be a John Deere. Now, I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards a Massey Ferguson, honestly. We haven't done a Massey Ferguson in a while, um... It was one of the ones we did on the very first uh, Elm Creek series. Uh, for this campaign series, I should say, for the Elm Creek map for this campaign series. Um, but, 
We haven't done one in a while, but it may not be. It may I may go with something else. Maybe I go with like a New Holland or something like that. Right? I don't know yet. This is going to be really good. This is going to make us a lot of money. <laughs> this field up here. These two fields up here alone. We're not even counting everything else. So the first few episodes are definitely going to be a, a situation, I think, where we're, we're spending a lot of time just creating new fields, right? Re and then drilling those fields. That's really going to be the big portion here for the first couple of episodes at a minimum. Because uh, we have all this land. We've got to do something with it. And, uh, and you know, current is just utilized for grass. And that uh, is not really what we want to do in this series. If we can, I mean, we can do grass, but I prefer to do things like this. I guess what I'm trying to get at: turn those grass fields into something that we want them to be—an arable crop. So I'm going to go down one more time this way, and then I'm going to throw this on a worker, and then, like I said, I'm going to look at potentially buying another tractor. Well, probably not even potentially. Probably buying another tractor, but potentially buying another drill. Um, if we can find one that makes sense. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start drilling that field then next. Let's put this on this worker here, and then I'm going to uh, do some research. So I'll be back with you all in just a few seconds. All right, gang, we went a different route. Uh, we, we got a, a planter instead uh, and a new tractor, obviously. Uh, now, the new tractor we got, I went ahead and got a new Holland. I said I may be doing a messy Ferguson, but we switched and went to new Holland. Um, the new Holland is... Slightly more horsepower than I think what our John Deere has, but not by much. But we decided to go with that instead. So. Alright, we're throwing sorghum in here now. We'll get this one going. Um, once we get around the headland here once or twice, we'll throw this on a worker. And uh, we'll go pick up our new planter and uh, tractor. Now, we probably won't do anything with that um, that tractor and that uh, planter today. It'll more than likely be the, the following episode when we uh, create another new field. And we'll put uh, sunflowers or corn or something in there. Who knows? But uh, we, we can at least get that picked up and brought back to the farm. Look at the trains in the background, man. That's awesome. Love that. Love it. But hopefully you're excited for this, uh, for this nether, the next step in this series, the next map in this series. I, I am. I love this map. Many times I've mentioned that now. It's gonna be difficult, though. These, these hills are, they're no joke, man. They're no joke. It's, uh, it's not gonna be the easiest thing to, uh, to try to harvest these fields. You can already see the issues I'm having with drilling it, so... Definitely did not uh, set us up for an easy, uh, an easy uh, extension to the series here with this one. I don't see a whole lot of potential here, um, with the exception of maybe one or two other fields for expansion, based off of what I'm saying. But, we'll, I mean, we'll see. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. 15 to, to 20 episodes is a lot, so I could be wrong. I mean, we've, we've expanded on every other one that we've done so far. So, I could be completely wrong, but I just suspect that it will be uh, one where there's a little bit of less expansion because we're going to have so much to do just on ours, right? The other ones we've had... Uh-oh, my batteries are low. 
The other ones we've done, right? They've uh, uh, they've mostly had fields that were already pre-created. They're not ones we're creating ourselves like this one, right? So that's one less step we have to do on those fields. Now we certainly have expanded them a little bit, but we've never, you know, had to create the field from scratch like we're doing now. We're going to go back this way this time. Go around the headland a second time like we do. And then uh, I'll put this on a worker and we'll go pick up the uh, the new tractor. Show it to you. The new drill. All that. Show you all that. There are some spots here that are being missed too. You can't really see it, I don't think. Because I didn't have the lights on. But there's definitely spots. See that? There's a spot right there. We just completely missed because of the hill. So we're going to have these issues, I think, as they just... In general, as we carry on here, I don't think there's going to be any way around it, unfortunately. It's just, uh, the way it's going to be. Yep. See, I can't even, I can't even drill that one right there, at that angle. So, I think there are going to be situations like that where we're just either going to have to leave the land as it is, just drilled but not, uh, planted, or, uh, we're going to have to spend a hell of a lot of money trying to flatten this area out. But you can see how much money we spent, though. We only have $570,000 left now, so we spent another half a million. Alright, we'll try it one more time. If it doesn't work, then we're just going to move on. Seemed to work. Nice. Alright. Get up here to the end here, and I'm going to turn around, and I'm just going to put it on a worker going that way. It should be okay. Shouldn't have any issues, hopefully. Yeah, it's good to finally be feeling a little bit better today, gang. Still, the cough is still lingering a little bit, but it's it's certainly removed most of its uh, its strength. I think at this point, knock on wood. Still on uh, medicine for another uh, two or three days, but you know, seems to be that there there's finally some progress being made there. So we're probably going to do a little touch up work here. Looks like I might have to do touch-up work down there, too, from this angle. You can see down there, it looks like there's a spot that was missed over there, so we're going to have to look at that, too. But uh, in any case, we'll get the worker going. Let's just let him do whatever he wants to do, and we can touch that up. So let's go get our new tractor here. The New Holland T8350 Genesis. I did not do dualies on it. It does have wheel weights on it. Big wheels, big thick tires, bulky, chunky tires. And then, we got the Viderstat Tempo L16 for our planter, so. This will be nice, this will be nice for us. Now the John Deere we have does not have any beacons on it, for whatever reason. Uh, it didn't even have the option to put beacons on it, so. But it's got dualies on it anyway, so I imagine that that tractor really won't be doing a whole lot of in-city work moving forward, right? It's just going to be on our, on our fields. Uh, and on our yard. If we're going to have to utilize a tractor in the, in the city, I mean, I, I feel like we're going to use this one or maybe if we buy another one. Something that's got smaller wheels. Well, they're still they're still chunky wheels, but smaller wheels that... Uh, I'm going to go up here. I'm just going to take a shortcut up here. As a matter of fact, we might put in a track right there. Kind of coming with the, the side here, side of the trees here. I think we're going to. Just to make it easier, so I don't have to go up and around those big, massive corners to get up here. It'll be a little bit slower getting up here, but I think this would be for the best. And as long as I keep it kind of to the edge there by the hill and the trees, you really shouldn't lose that much crop potential for it. Uh-oh, battery's dead. Hold on, gang. I 
I would have thought I had a few more seconds than that, but I did not, clearly. I just ran right into our silo. Alright. So we can go ahead and put this into the barn for now. So we won't need it today. We will need it in the next episode. We're going to be putting something in the next episode. What? I don't know yet. It'll probably be... Mm, I mean, I would like to do cotton, too, but it'd probably be corn. We don't have a cotton harvester right now. We need to get some more money to do that now at this point. Because I've spent so much money at this point. Alright, kind of works for there. Let's close that down. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let me take over for this guy. I'm gonna touch this up really quick before I forget about it, because I will forget. I need to put lime down too. We don't have a we don't have a lime spreader, that's something else I need to buy. Alright, there we go. So we'll put a little bit of a mini time lapse in here, gang. I'm going to get the rest of this field done. It won't take us long. There's not much left to do here. Um, and then we'll, we'll see where we're at. We'll, I don't know if we'll put lime down for the first drills here, for the first these first two fields here or not. Um, we'll see how the uh, the episode looks as far as time goes. And I'll make that decision on if we're going to do the uh, the lime for the first one or not. So I think uh, I think I'm going to look at at least trying to get something to spread some lime down, gang. It's a long episode, but I mean I feel like we should put some lime down there, right? That way we don't have to worry about it for a while. So let me look and see what I can find as far as lime spreading goes. That's not too outrageously expensive, but has a decent width. I don't know what I'll find. Maybe things we've already previously used, but if it is, it is. There's nothing we can do about it. Let me see what I can find. Alright, so we've got this Kubota here. It's a decent width. Decent amount of lime can be hold, held in here. Uh, a fertilizer as well, but we've got a, a sprayer, which I probably will do mostly liquid fertilizer, I think. Um, for this map. But uh, this can be our, you know, our standard, or whatever you want to call it, um, lime spreader. 10,000 liters. It's not, I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, we're going to have to make multiple trips, but... You know, it is what it is, right? The width, though, is really nice. It's got a really good width on it.
So it shouldn't take us too long at all, but we will have to make a couple of trips here to get both these fields done, so... Um... A lot of little time lapses here, gang, but we're gonna put another little mini one in here now. We're gonna get this done. And we'll, uh, we'll be back with you after that. That is the fields all done. Like I said, we're not going to roll them. We're just going to uh, roll through this one without doing any rolling, which <laughs> makes me happy. But uh, the fields are ready to go now, so we'll see how they do. We'll see how the harvest goes when it comes time to harvest them, how difficult it is based off of what I did. I might have to touch it up a little bit. I told you that already uh, off camera, right? Try to, uh, I don't know, clean it up the edges there where the I know the harvester is going to have issues, right? Uh, where am I going to put this thing at? We're already running out of room. Hmm. Well, I guess for now I just have to put it here. I, I'm going to have to do some maneuvering here and figure things out, I guess. I don't really necessarily have to keep the tractors in here, so I guess I could just remove the tractors. But for now, I'm going to keep them in here anyway. But with that, gang, we're going to leave the episode there. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hit that like button if you did. I really would appreciate it. Thanks so much to our channel members. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Until next time, gang. I'll see each and every single one of you. In the next episode. What a view.